Andy Mogul. Hey, Andy Moglers, Russell here. Last week, after Griffin gave an update on his Sriracha documentary, I was asked to make an update on my short film that I've been working on, Angel of the City. It is coming along, but a lot more slowly than I originally anticipated. The footage looks good, I've started getting back some FX shots that I'm really happy with, but there's been a few issues. First off, there's still things I need to shoot. On our last day of shooting, which was day five, uh, that took place about a month after we shot everything else, one of our actors had to cancel at the last second. I mean, luckily his stuff took place kind of apart from everyone else, so we could shoot it separately, if, because that's kind of the situation we were put into, uh, but our schedules still have not worked out. He lives kind of far away, and he works a job that constantly keeps him busy at night, which is when we need to shoot, and we just haven't been able to make our schedules work out yet. So in the middle of my first rough edit, there's just a bunch of black screens with text that say, insert so-and-so shot here. Not ideal. And speaking of my edit, I wasn't really thrilled with it, my first rough edit. Um, it just, something wasn't flowing right, so I've completely started over, taken a different approach from the beginning. It was nobody's fault but my own on that rough edit, so now where I am with my new edit, I like it a lot more. I'm much happier with it, but it means I'm kind of back towards the beginning of my process. Once my new edit is done, I can start sending it off to my online collaborators, and we can do another big episode about the post-production process in detail. Now, as far as the collaborators go, uh, for sound, we have Sean Scarfo, who I've met while working with Andy Mogul, who has a great playlist of videos about how to prepare audio for professional post-production work in Adobe Premiere, and that we'll link to at the end of today's update. The special effects are being done by Jake Zetter, and Jake shows why it's important sometimes to just ask if you can do something. In the comments section of, I think, one of the Onset Experience, episodes, he asked if he could do the special effects. I went to his channel, I saw his reel, I liked what I saw, and he got the job. So never be afraid to ask. The worst somebody can say is no. And I didn't. I didn't say no. I said yes. We'll link to his reel at the end of this update as well. Now for those wondering when you're going to get to see the final product, uh, I had originally been hoping for the end of October, but now I'm thinking that the end of October is more likely when we'll see the first trailer for the project. Actually, I think November 1st is a Friday, be just after Mogul Ween is done. So yeah, November 1st is when we'll be putting up the first trailer for my short film. And then probably towards the end of November now, so a month delay, that's when we'll be putting up the final product. That's the goal. After all, I really have to get on writing a feature script. That's going to be the big project for next year. And <laughs> well, I've already said too much. Now, sorry if this update feels a little rushed today. Um, I've produced it a lot quicker than I normally do because I have a special event to attend. That event, well, if you remember Chris, my director of photography during the whole onset experience thing for the short film, he's getting married today. And I mean that he is getting married today, like today, today. Um, if you're watching this later on today after I've put it online, there's a good chance that it's happening right now. So if you want to leave any congratulations for him, do it in the comments, I'll make sure he gets to see those. And speaking of congratulations, one other thing that we have to get shots of is uh, close-ups of the baby in the movie. We just used a, a prop baby, a doll, essentially, uh, to stand in, but we need to get close-ups of the baby, and at the time we did not have one. Uh, but since wrapping principal photography, our producer Jason Allentoff, who you may remember from the whole uh, interview series I did with him as well, he is now the proud father of a almost three-month-old baby girl who will be standing in as the baby. I'm just immediately taking advantage of the fact that I know somebody who has a baby. It, it works out pretty well for the project. So leave all your congratulations for new father Jason, new husband Chris in the comments below. I'll make sure they get seen. Now for today's playlist, we have that three-parter talking about how to prepare audio for professional post-production work in Premiere from Sean Scarfo. That's up top. That'll open a playlist on its own. Then we also have Jake Zetter, the visual effects guy. It's going to be his reel just below that. And we also have a link to the Danger Inc. podcast. Now, I had mentioned this channel as one of the top 10 channels that un at the time had under 1,000 subscribers. Uh, but we did a podcast where I talked a lot about the making of this project, a little bit more in depth if you want to hear more about it. That's the third link down there. So that's it for today. Join us next week for Indie News on Monday. And you know what? Uh, let's add a fourth video to that list. Um, speaking of taking advantage of the fact that we have friends who are having children and using them in videos, years ago, uh, we did a video called Terror Baby with a one-month-old. I'm just gonna link to it. That's old. The girl in that one is now in kindergarten. God, I'm getting old. <laughs>